Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's President of DCU. I'm delighted to welcome you all here this morning. I won't go through all the provinces again, but uh, all the provinces uh, are, are, are welcome. And can I particularly welcome, um, as Eamon has said, any visitors that have traveled a long distance, and particularly those of you that have joined us from overseas. Um, I think today's event is a very important milestone um, for a number of reasons. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had the pleasure of having the CEO of Microsoft, uh, Satyam Nadella, to come and visit the campus. He was visiting Ireland for a day, and I thought it was significant that one of his two major events was to come to a university campus and to talk about the future of learning. Um, he said a number of important things around that on the day itself, but one of the most important things he says more, said more generally is that nowadays every organization, every company is a digital company. And if you're not, you're in trouble. And I think the same applies to education. Um, that the whole digital backbone of our society, our life, our economy, um, is so uh, ubiquitous, is so, so much permeating everything we do, uh, that unless education itself embraces that in a sensible fashion, uh, then, then we, we will have major difficulties. Uh, we all know that we've lived through now probably a couple of decades driven more by hype and uh, unmanaged expectations in that regard, that there's now a, a very, very clear need for an evidence base, a very clear research focus around this that gives us that strong evidence base around which to make the, the serious decisions, the serious investments that are required to enhance ultimately the learning experience of our students. And I think that, that's what makes today's event so important. Um, from the DCU perspective, um, we we established a, 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 a working group about five years ago to come up with a strategy for the university around the whole space of digital learning itself. And that came up with a, two major recommendations. One is to try and establish uh, a major institute around this, which we, we, which we established in uh, 2013, the National Institute for D Digital Learning, obviously the main organizing group this morning. And secondly, to get a significant leader in the space internationally to provide that scholarly backdrop, that, that scholarly uh, a drive and momentum around this. And that's why we were delighted to appoint Ireland's first chair in digital learning, who was Professor Mark Brown. And we're very much d delighted in what Mark has done in, in driving NIDL forward and more generally the, the collaborative environment re reflected in today's event itself. Um, so today's event is, is particularly important in creating a, a community of, of learners, a community of researchers that will engage with each, each other and that will address the key uh, questions that Eamon had up on the screen earlier on. I think they're, they're fundamental questions. Um, I'm, my background is a, as, as a physicist uh, was very much driven by research and both national and international communities of researchers and uh, all researchers know that we achieve much, much more together in community than we can on our own that all the big issues are best addressed at the interfaces between perspectives, at the interfaces between institutions, at the interfaces between disciplines. And uh, digital learning is no, is no different. Um, and I think creating that sort of community through events like this are uh, cri critically, critically important. <clears throat> Within the university itself, uh, I'm delighted this is happening because it's a very significant year for us. Um, after four years of very complex, uh, time-consuming change management, we've now created Ireland's first faculty of education. And the fact that we're saying that, I think, is an interesting thing in itself. And when I say it internationally, people are surprised that of the seven universities in the south and the two universities in the north and all the other higher education institutions on the island, this is the first time we have a university-based faculty of education. But what's driving that there is a, a commitment to influencing the quality of our society and the quality of our economy by having a, a critical mass and, more importantly, research-informed teacher education. And central to that will be, uh, a, will be digital learning. We, we understand that and we want to have a, a core of evidence basis and a scholarship informing what we do in terms of teachers being the transformers of her society and carrying that uh, cutting edge informa information with them. Uh, please, and many of you would know this, that uh, Professor Anne Looney, um, 
who's currently chief executive, interim chief executive of the Higher Education Authority, will take over in January the, the executive dean role of leading that new faculty of education, which we're calling DCU Institute of Education. This will be over 4,000 students, over 125 academic faculty, um, really seeking to change teacher education in Ireland by having end-to-end -end from early childhood right through to lifelong learning covered, but all of it uh, in a research-intensive environment. So the National Institute for Digital Learning and events such as this are, are a key elements of actually enabling us to do that. I'm also pleased that we were able to uh, uh, announce the promotion of Deirdre Butler that many of you would know to the professorship in digital learning as well in, in, in recent months. So now we're building up a, a core of expertise in, in this area. But it's all about collaboration. That's why I'm particularly pleased to see the partnership between DCU and uh, the Education Studies Association of Ireland and the Irish Learning Technologies Association coming together for this event. And in that regard, I'd like to formally acknowledge and welcome the two respective presidents of those associations, uh, Paul Gormley and Dr. Conor Galvin, and thank them for their support, and we look forward to deepening that partnership. I also want to mention today as well the, the role of uh, SESI, the Computers and Education Society of Ireland. The role they play in supporting teachers in the area of digital learning is particularly important as well. Uh, so can I welcome as well uh, Adrian Webb, SESI's chair. Um, DCU was delighted to host this year's SESI conference, and I'm told I'm allowed to announce as well that the next year's conference will be held on our one, another of our campuses, the DCU St. Patrick's campus, um, in March, on March 4th next year as well. So that's still in preparation, but I am allowed to announce that. So we're very pleased with, with that relationship. Just to say as well, um, I chaired the review of STEM education for the government um, over much of the past two years, and on, in two weeks from yesterday, that review of STEM education in Ireland will be uh, released and launched by Minister Richard Bruton. Um, a lot of focus on that is around the, the empowerment and the affordances of digital technology and enhancing STEM learning and STEM teaching in Ireland. And it will resonate strongly with the a report, the strategy that emerged last year in terms of the, the digital school strategy. So I've heard digital, uh, if you like, permeating everything we do, but needing all the time uh, thought leadership around the space in informing that at every stage. Uh, before I finish, I'm delighted, and it really adds to the value of the day, to welcome our three keynote speakers, uh, Professor Sean Bain, who's here beside me on stage, Professor Grania Canol, who's an old friend of DCU, and Professor Paul Conway. Uh, they, they're wonderful uh, international reputations that really add value and excitement to the day itself. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you throughout the day and hope that you'll enjoy your time at DCU and opportunity to, to network with many of the researchers here. But I think today is primarily a national event, but I think it's critically important that we develop strong international linkages with key leaders in the space itself. Um, can I also mention as well, having spoken about the top end of scholarship in terms of our keynote speakers, a special mention to first-time presenters and doctoral students. I remember I was one of those students <coughs> once and the, the stress of first-time presentations never, never leaves you. Um, and I believe the program has been deliberately put together to give them a chance to share some of their research with the network. So good luck to you, and you'll, you'll be brilliant, no doubt. Uh, finally, can I thank uh, the members of the organizing committee and program committee in planning and staging today's event. It's, it's a wonderful combination of speakers and, and content. Can I also thank the, the Helix team behind the scenes here. The Helix always looks after us very well. And later this week, I have the pleasure of standing at this podium 10 times for 10 graduation ceremonies where we will have 1,200 people sitting on, 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 on tiered seats where you are now. So they have a busy week ahead. Um, the program itself looks very exciting indeed. I'm sorry that I have to go over now and uh, chair a budget committee. So while you guys are enjoying yourself with interesting uh, topics, I will, I will deal with other issues, but I'll try and drop back throughout the day because uh, I'm a strong believer in digital learning and, and colleagues here would know that. I'm a strong believer in our primary responsibility of enhancing the learning experience of our students. And I firmly believe that a, an evidence-based approach to embedding the affordances of digital technology in our strategy will truly uh, address the engagement issues for students, but also the excitement of learning. And it's up to you guys to inform us how best to do that. So, Ganari live in you, Agus Berbu Gormagov.